Hey guys, hey Marvel Legends fans and collectors. Thanks for joining me for another video. Yeah, yeah I had to get out of the light box for this one. <laughs> this packaging is huge and heavy. It is the Hulk, part of the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends. Bit of a throwback to the uh, Toy Biz packaging. Um, but yeah, basically it's just the sort of colors, you know, it, it, it's, it's very different. But um, yeah, it's series one, so we're saying there could be more. There's also Captain America, Iron Man, and recently Toad, um, which is an interesting one uh, to to, com to um, include with Cap, uh, Tony, and, and and Hulk here. But um, it's really cool, really nice looking figure, really heavy. And yeah, a little bit of a write up on the back it says for 20 years the Marvel Legends series has brought the iconic characters and storylines of the Marvel Universe to fans worldwide to celebrate the 2002 Toy Biz debut release. Marvel Legends proudly presents the 20th anniversary series one, featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Toad. So probably that was the uh, that was the case with the original wave. Um, I was 14 years old. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's been a while, um, but yeah, this looks like an awesome figure. I have the Iron Man already, um, and hoping to get Cap in the next couple of weeks. Not too worried about Toad, um, but yeah, this one looks awesome anyway. So I'm going to open him up, and let's have a look at everything else. All right, so what is included? We have a reversible backdrop, so we have the Incredible Hulk. And it's a reversible backdrop, as opposed to what we got in 2002, which contained a comic book, which is just super awesome. Um, so yeah, be, bear with me as I get the figure out of the packaging. And I'll just have him standing there for the moment while we get all the other bits and pieces out. So we've got this head, and I'm pretty sure that's a... Um, uh, blanking on it now. <laughs> Completely blanking on it right now. That's okay. It'll come to me like... Yeah, it'll come to me in the wee hours of the morning. We do have a slightly less angry but still grumpy Hulk head, which is cool. So they look great. Kind of like the more sort of angry Hulk, but we'll take a look. We do have this display stand with a couple of pegs on it. Marvel Legends, really nice. The backdrop will slot in that nicely. I know that because the Iron Man one had the same thing. We have another base here, which is just fantastic. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know if I realized this was part of it. I didn't really look too closely, to be honest. But that's freaking cool. That's really cool. I like that. I like the blast of energy that's coming out of there that looks fantastic couple of pegs yeah that's that's really really cool I dig that a lot and naturally he has a couple of fists as well which you know you can't have Hulk without fists they've both got the uh, wrist articulation there which is good so let's take a look at Hulk and uh, get that out of the way so we could focus on the man himself. So yeah, really nicely coloured, I find. I just, you know, I haven't had, this is my first sort of comic book style Hulk figure. I've had a couple of um, the MCU ones in the past and um, quite often they've just been a pretty sort of flat green colour. They sort of pick a skin tone and just sort of go with it. This one's got sort of nice sort of darker undershades and sort of on the raised surfaces like his pecs and up on his arms there. It's sort of a more brighter green, I guess. Just gives a little bit of definition and shadow to, um, you know, those lower surfaces. I think that looks really nice. Actually, the head. Beautifully sculpted. And I sort of like what they've done here. They've given the black hair sort of, you know, it's not, it's sort of green on the surface. So it sort of shows that he has like a slightly green color of hair. Same, same with that one. I'll show you with this one. So yeah, you can sort of see what they've done there. But yeah, really nice. 
really nice sculpt on these two heads. They look fantastic together. Really nice. So articulation's pretty damn good. Um, I do wish the arms could come forward a little bit more. Like if you could get him to do his big Hulk, Hulk clap, <laughs> that would be awesome. But um, you know, then you sacrifice a lot of the lot of the uh, sculpt. I, know, I suppose uh, the back does have a couple of joints that allow those arms to sort of swing right back. So you know, if he's jumping or you know, screaming like so, that looks pretty cool. So I appreciate that, but yeah, if the arms were able to come forward just a little bit more, that'd be great, but not a big deal. I've got that sort of upper torso joint there above his six, eight pack. <laughs> so yeah, getting good range of movement. There's the swivel there, which, you know, if you've got this, I don't know if you'd really need that, but just because of the way it sort of looks, but that's fine. The pants themselves look good. This sort of rips and tears. In fact, these are sort of sculpted in a separate plastic over the top of the, of the calves, the shins. That's cool. I like that. These big old feet. They are huge. And the sculpt of the hands is nice too. I like that. They look good. I don't know in some of the pictures it shows that. I was thinking, is it an aimbot? No, but I don't think it is. I feel like it was, yeah. I'm only saying that because it's yellow, but it's, I don't know, it's not. I can't remember. It looks like one of the, um, I don't know, they did a bath of a shield, shield bot years ago. Um, kind, of, kind of reminds me of that. Just in a different color. Who knows, I'm not a Marvel expert. So I'm just gonna change the hands over off screen. Get Hulk, his fists out. So there we go, these fisted hands, they look good. Give the head a swap too, just so we can see what he looks like with the other head. Nice tight fit. Requires a little bit of strength to get that on. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I do like the, I do like both heads actually. I, no, I've got this one on there. That's yeah, equally as good, I think. It's they're both fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna work out how to how to pose him on this because he's a big hulking figure, no pun intended. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's they've designed it with three pegs, so you know one there, two there, there. And I feel like he'd be punching the ground, wouldn't he? But I guess he could have just just landed. Perhaps, I don't know, it's a bit hard with a phone standing in front of my face, but either way, that is one solid, solid figure. Really happy to have this one in the collection. It's nice to, I don't know, I like having, you know, a cool representation of a character, particularly when it comes to Marvel stuff. Look, I don't love it all. Um, only because I just my knowledge of everything they put out is sort of scarce, but um, some of the sort of more you know frontline characters that we all know and love, like Hulk, you know, it's cool to have a sort of comic adaptation of his character in figure form. And yeah, it's it's a heavy figure. It's it's heavy. You've had some big figs like this before. A lot of them are very hollow, but this one is a you know. There's a lot of bulk here, particularly in those arm joints. But yeah, it's cool. Very nice. So yeah, there's there's my review. Again, choices of stands. You know, he's gonna completely help with that, so there's no point in having a backdrop, but you know, I love that they've included this. This is just fantastic. It's a nice heavy, heavy set piece, which is great. It does have a couple of peg holes there, so I'm gonna have a little play around with this off camera. 
and uh, see how I can get him. Maybe look around, see what some other toy photographers have, toy photographers have done. Because, yeah, it's a cool, cool base. I'd hate to waste it. But, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, thoughts, feelings. Let me know if you enjoy the Marvel, Marvel figures. I'm, I'm enjoying doing t reviews and talking about them. Just sort of breaks up from the... For the Star Wars, when there isn't much going on, um, <laughs> because with the Star Wars figures, I've literally just reviewed almost everything that's just come out in the last few weeks. So it's cool to break it up with some Marvel stuff. Let me know if you if you're cool and you want to see more. That'd be awesome. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.